can you speak a little bit about the empty looking? When I look around the room in, um, I see sense that everything is silent and empty, not solid, but it is as if there is a little bit of me holding out, like the last grasp of separation, as if there is only, it is only barely hanging on. on. The eyes clearly see that nothing is separate, but the inner feeling still has the resistance. There is also the sense that if that energetic feeling in the body was to drop, it would just be both seen and felt as it is. I guess what I'm saying is the empty looking knows it's one, but the sense of I am still feels contracted. It feels, it seems like one side of awakening is revealed, but the feeling side is a little slower to shift. Is this common? Hope you have a lovely day and thank you for your time and dedication. Hey Lloyd, that's a very really beautiful way of see it, seeing it. I used to say, and I forget to say this anymore, but there's like different awakenings you can have. You can have like the empty looking awakening, but not the lovelet awakening, which is the I am awakening. Because the I am, that sense of existence is also boundless. So that sense of being, the initial sense of being also belongs everywhere. And that being and the empty looking are one and the same thing. Not the I am the body or I am which can be perceived. It's this initial sense of being. That this is, that this exists. This aliveness. It's instant, like... Oh, oh, oh. And that's the love. I, I like, And you get like pointers to it, like Ramana Maharshi would have said it's in the left side of the heart. But he would also say it's like, that's how it feels like in the body, but it's everywhere. And that's the love side. So, and Nisargadatta, Nisargadatta Maharaj says, to know I am nothing is wisdom, to know I'm everything is love, and in between my life resides, in between the human character resides. I love that. Like, so the human character is, or the body is, mind is seemingly this vessel which allows us to be experienced. And he kind of sees it as like the nothingness is this emptiness that's vast and beyond, and the everythingness is out there. And then the body is the portal which joins it. I also heard it spoken about once as like an angel with the two wings. Like one wing is in the nothingness, the other wing is in the everything. And then the body is the the middle part, the the part which is looked through. Beautiful. But of course it's all imagery and it's easy to get um, lured by words. This communication is ultimately non-verbal. Otherwise it wouldn't really be non-duality if it was about the words. Some people get so fixated on the words. This is the true non-duality. This is the right teaching. It's about energy, actually. Energy. Like it's satsang, talking in truth. It's like a resonance with that energy that's beyond the words. And then the words, you know, they do something. There's like a beauty to them, but that's not it. Yeah, nice, Lloyd. Um, so it's just keep presenting itself and maybe the everything self sideness is more like you say about the emotion so it's exploring the emotion I would assume the emotion at the bottom of it is a fear of death like a fear of dying but there could be lots in there 